supper. Not sure what the wife is going to eat. While I'm out here, I'm going to introduce to you a new little project. So what we have here is an ADZ. A-D-Z-E. This used to be for peeling vegetables back in the day. This is actually a woodworking tool. Very cool. It's got a Maddox style handle. It's seen better days as you can see. It's Really rough, a lot of rust on there. Maddox style handle, which means it's just a friction fit. There's no wedge in there, so I should be able to pop that out. It's uh, it's gone. We'll have to replace the handle. But uh, what you have is a sort of a hammer on this side, which has a fair amount of mushrooming. You know, we'll remove that. The body of it is in great shape. It comes down to a chisel grind bevel right here. Now let me show you how it works. So again, this would have a real nice sharp edge on here. The edge is actually in pretty decent condition. It's not going to need too much work. And it would be for a... Uh, it's like a really aggressive plane, I guess. It would be for leveling leveling boards. You could Back in the old days, they'd uh, you know, ship decks and things like that. Or any kind of big planks like that. So you want to keep it on a close to flat grade. So it's pretty rough right now, but you could imagine that with a with a razor sharp edge on there. You could really remove a lot of material and level those boards because how else did you really have to do it back then, right? This is going to be a great project. I'm super excited. I've had this for uh, approximately a week and I think it's time to get at it. Thank you. 
pretty great. You got that viciously black patina on there, you can see. Again, that edge is in pretty good shape. Just show you the profile of it here if I can. Right there. All in great shape, no cracks or anything anywhere. I can't clean out this. There's a couple little nooks and crevices that I can't uh, can't really get at. So I think I'm gonna put this in a vinegar soak and get to the next step on the next video. Thanks for watching.